morning everyone I hope you're all doing all right welcome back to the 83 air gunner channel <clears throat> so today we've just got another quick knife review another quick rundown of a new knife I got a new knife day yesterday you know I've got a love new knife day and this one was from the prepper shop and this is the combat tactical elite gator folding lock knife and this one was priced at £5.90 but the good thing about prepper shop is you can build up loyalty points and you know little discounts like that so ended up actually getting it for about £4.30 so I'm really pleased with this knife for you know the £4.30 or the £5.90 even price tag so before we have a look at the knife, we'll have a little quick look at the box. There's not much specs on the box um, with the combat tactical, combat UK stuff. You know, you don't get many specs on normally. You know, it just gives you the name of the knife on the side. You know, combat tactical, take it to the next level. Just the usual branding on the box. But I don't mind combat UK or combat tactical. They're quite a good make and they do some good budget stuff. I've got quite a lot of their stuff. So, let's have a little look at the knife then. Down to business. So, looks good all folded. And then, open it up. And this is a nice knife. It, it really is. I quite like that I'm really pleased with this for the price so I'll give you a few little specs and rundown on things that I could find out through you know doing a bit of homework so this is what I know of them it's got a seven about a seven seven and a half centimeter blade and that apparently is stainless steel but I'm not too sure if it is stainless, so we'll have to find out after I've used it a bit. So we'll just call it the steel blade. We've got the steel blade. It's got quite a nice, quite a nice edge to it. It was quite sharp straight out the box actually, but I'm gonna give it another little rundown and, and I might run it over the strop. So it's got quite a nice shape to it as well. I, I reckon that'd be alright as a little you know, a little skinning knife for rabbits. So I think that's what I may use it for. And for the six pound price tag, you know, you can throw that around and get it, get it bloody and muddy. And that's what I like about the lower end knives. You know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to use them. Right. Even though I still look after them, you know, I'm not afraid to use them like old oh, pretty expensive ones. So, like I said, steel blade, and then we got. The thumb studs on the blade. Let's pull it up and show you. And this is what I like about it. It's actually got the thumb stud on each side. And that's a really good feature that. You know, the, the are thinking about left-handed users or even just, you know, ambidextrous. Or if, if, if one of your hands has got something in it, you know, you've only got one hand. That's a good option, and it also this this is what I liked as well. It actually came with the assisted opener or the flipper, as I call it, as well. You know, and that sticks out the back there, so you kind of got like three options for opening in it, opening it, or four if you just want to do it the old school way. So that that's it is nice. It's quite a nice smooth opening knife as well you know, there's no there's no grating it's got a nice positive click to it it does feel feels quite strong i was very surprised actually you know for for the price there was there's no movement yeah it's quite solid the lock feels locking mechanism feels nice as well it does feel solid and that's the the liner lock type and that's nice it's very secure 
yeah, yeah, I do like that. <clears throat> right, so the grip then. It's nice. It's a, a nice coyote colour, and it's got like a gator scales, skin scaly, kind of bulges out as well. You can see it bulging out a bit. So you've got some nice grip to it. It does actually feel good. And holding it as well, you know. It's in that nice shape to it. Your fingers just want to fit in. Fit in nicely. But when you do hold it, you do find that the knife feels like it wants you to hold it like that. Like it does pull into, into that position of holding it like that. But... You know, it is comfortable to hold in a few different positions. And uh, yeah, I like that. And it's got a nice shape to it as well, the handle. Then we've got, I think it's Torx. Yeah, we've got a couple, we've got the Torx bolts holding the handle and holding the knife together. Again, a line, a lock. And um, that's just a, the grip's just like a plastic or polymer material. Don't feel the most solid in the world, the um, the actual material, but it does feel nice. And for six pound, you know, it's great. And then we've got the the belt clip. And again, I like that. It's a nice tight belt clip as well, which is what I like. So. You know, you're not going to lose your pride and joy when you're in the field. Just well the... And then we have at the end of the end of the handle, you've got the carabiner clip. I can, and that's really solid as well. I think that will last. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. It does feel quite a solid carabiner. And it also doubles as a bottle opener. So you can open bottles with it. And then just at the tip, it's got it's got a bit of a pry, like a pry bar or you know, a, a pry end to it, a pry bar end, whatever you want to call it. Which is a good little touch. Not sure how strong that would be, or but yeah, if it feels alright. And closed as well, the blade does sit sit nicely in the middle. But yeah, there's not really much more I can give you on that. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. I probably have, but... But yeah, again, that's the Combat Tactical Elite Gator folding lock knife. It's a, it's a nice knife. I think that's just going to be my EDC pocket knife for when I'm in the field or shooting you know something along them lines but you can actually get it in a black a black finish as well and um, for the price I would actually get that you know I'd, I'd have them both but yeah that's a nice knife I absolutely love that and again that was from the prepper shop priced at 590 And if you want one, or if you're interested, want to check it out, I'll leave the, I'll, I'll put the link up in the description. Um, that's about it though. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day everyone. Bye.